I need to improve myself. But how am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to improve myself if I'm the one who needs to be improved? What? What's up, what's up? Welcome to Freedom Lifestyle Channel. Bro, it's made here. Hope that you are doing great. And today we're going to make you a better person. Trust me, today we're going to improve you. Stay tuned. This is me being fun. You always gonna need to better yourself. You always gonna need to improve yourself. But this is the process and you can make it fun. So let's go. So the first tip to improve yourself is ask yourself why. Why do you want to improve yourself? Like since when did you feel like that need that you need to be something better, someone better? You know, if like as if you are not good enough or something like that. The first tip is to like that, you know, asking yourself, know your why, you know. Maybe if it's something that you know you don't like about you. But even if you don't like it, it is a part of you, you know. So the first step toward dealing better with the person you are, you know, is accepting that, you know, you're a human being, that you're, you have certain traits about you, you know, in yourself. And be grateful that now you are, you are aware of it, you know. Somehow... There's something that you don't want to be part of you anymore or something like that. Try to find the root cause of the, you know, your why to change all that, if you know what I mean. So the second one that I want to talk about is, um, you know, create some sort of morning or night routine or you can create both, like try to find something that can be helpful in a way you know something that can be playful joyful and somehow energetic for you to you know to do in the morning when you wake up for example something that will boost your energy during the day something that will give you a clear you know state of mind you know clear thinking and uh, you know all that something that will make your body you know stay active and all that so i'm talking about creating some uh, morning routine because i read a book called uh, the miracle morning and in that book it talks about how important you know how the first thing that we do in the morning define you know our entire day so it talks about practicing some exercise such as meditation uh, yoga reading you know journaling and all that because somehow all those stuffs uh, help us have a uh, you know, healthier life you know to be somehow accept us the way we are and try to improve why trying to improve and so why journaling for example is very important because look you have a lot going on in your head and in your heart like it is a lot of thoughts and feelings so when you start putting them on a piece of paper it's like you're uh, now you have something to grab and analyze you know you can focus on a certain feeling that you want to write about or a certain situation that is not you know you're not been able to deal with it it would be nice if you write them on a paper it will help you have a better understand of what is really going on inside your head well about the meditation you know meditation somehow help you stay more present you know right here and now increase your self-awareness you know like you will be more aware of the thoughts that uh, pop up in your head the feelings that you feel and all that and you will know how to handle them better you know you when they raise you will know and that way you will not be that judgmental to your feeling or your thoughts you will simply 
uh, recognize that you're a human being, that you have those kind of stuff, and you will try to find the way, best way that you can work on them. Also, about reading. Reading is good because you're learning for, from someone else's experience and life overall, you know, because when someone is writing a book, is writing the things that he was been through the things that he learns that way you are you know multiplying the years of your life because you're not just learning from your own process but you would be learning from someone else's process and someone else's mistake that you don't have to make them all you can learn from someone else and that way you can be a step a step ahead of the life and exercise and so on you know you know our exercise is good for your healthy you know for your mental health physical health and all that so don't forget to exercise so um, the third tip that i wanted to share with you is about creating a uh, life and work balance you know work and life balance something like that because sometimes we are too worried about working make some money make some dreams come true you know and uh, like we are every day you know chasing that high you know that thing that satisfies us you know those uh, material things i'm not saying that they don't matter because they matter i'm just saying that sometimes we are to focus on that that we neglect our ourselves like our health when we get neglect our family and uh, relationship and something like that so somehow you need to create a balance so you can uh, take a better care of yourself I believe that the chance to you know make your dream come true is a hundred percent I believe that but also you know you won't be able to enjoy those winnings if you're not healthy if you, things are not doing okay like with your physical health, your mental health, your emotional and spiritual health, a relationship with your family too and friends, you know, somehow uh, <laughs> you need to balance that, you know? So, what's up? Feeling that change already? <laughs> Not? Alright, it doesn't happen overnight, so be patient. So, the next thing is the fourth thing that I, for a tip that I wanted to share with you is to get out of your comfort zone you know try to do something different try to do something that excites you or something that will make you grow somehow you know that can be you know talk to that girl that you wanted to talk to you know that you have a crush for sometimes we are so caught up in the routine and uh, like we start to get accustomed with that, you know, and then we stop learning, we stop growing, like all that. Read a book, do something different, you know, do something that you never did before or something that you, you're you curious about, you know, that will somehow make you feel good, you know, uh, that will make you grow and that is fun you know <laughs> or whatever there may be something that you know you want out of life or something some milestone that you want to reach or something like that but somehow you you conform you know conformity you now you get into your comfort zone and even if knowing that there is something there is somewhere that you want to get you like you're not taking any action towards it you know and that will little by little mess with your psychology you know and all that <laughs> i guess even if it's one minute a day five minutes or ten minutes it makes all the difference in the world you know and 50 tips is her ask for help you know uh 
I keep saying this over and over. You're a human being, you know, and we are, we all are susceptible to the happenings of this world, you know. So you get sad, you get angry, and things don't go the way you want them to. And sometimes that's harsh, and sometimes uh, we learn great deals of uh, lesson from those kind of mistakes or things like that. It's good if you're going to a situation that you you are not feeling like strong enough to get through or that you know you can't do it alone but still somehow this pride inside you you know stops you from from asking for help or something like that so uh, don't be afraid to ask for help and by the way congratulations because uh, you're here watching this video right now that means that you took the first step you know toward uh, bettering yourself toward improving yourself because I know that somehow uh, if I plant this seed on your mind you know it might something that can change your life for the better and that it's uh, it's so great you know yeah it's uh, you know things that I've been learned and uh, I'm <laughs> grateful and I'm excited to share it with you because it has been helping me so I think it can help you too and also you know don't forget to be fun you know life sometimes is fun you know and but you know what well, all we do is sometimes focus on the problems on the you know things that are not going our way that we neglect the you know the good things the fun side and you know be playful be joyful and live life you know <laughs> Congratulations for getting to the end of this video and for, you know, uh, listen to all the five tips that I wanted to share with you to improve your life, you know, to make your life better. You remember why you came here, you know, because you wanted to be a better human being? <laughs> That's what you said. So I hope it was helpful. And if so, leave in the comment below which one you think you resonate with the most you know which one you could uh start with and this is me uh getting out of my comfort zone because i'm not really good at you know asking you know because you know those stuff you know. so if the, this is the first time that you're in my channel or watch my video you know please subscribe uh and if somehow you like this video it was helpful you know uh leave that thumbs up you know and if there is anything that you would like me to talk about or you know whatever you are interested in you know you can leave in the comment below and i'm here take care to your improvement to your better self <laughs>